What is happening everybody? Little Chris here to bring you a tutorial on Vegas Movie Studio and using the time code feature across multiple splits. Normally you would think this is something that's rather easy to do. You take your clip, you add it to the storyboard of Vegas Movie Studio. Click the Event FX button on the clip. Select the Vegas time code feature. And you now have a time code embedded onto the clip. My particular clip here is 6 minutes and 42 seconds long. What I would like to do now is add splits to this clip and make certain splits play faster while the remaining clips play at their normal pace. This will actually condense the length of the entire clip, but I would like this time code to maintain itself as if the whole clip was still playing at normal pace. But watch what happens when I start adding splits to this clip. This particular clip here is me doing 100 push-ups across four sets of 25 with one minute rest periods in between. And it's those one minute rest periods that I would like to speed up while the other clips of me actually doing the push-ups will play at their normal pace. So I'm going to find an area where I just finished doing a set, which looks like right about here. And right at this moment, I'm going to create a split. Watch the time code. It starts back over at zero, and that is not what I want to happen. So now I do what any normal person would do. I start looking up YouTube videos to see how this might be done. And I do a search for a Vegas movie studio time code across splits. And this is what I come up with. Split screen tutorials, how to split and group clips, using time code to create a timer that stops. Not exactly what I want to do. How to create split screen video using Sony Vegas movie studio. Sony Vegas tutorial, add a timer to your video, how to pause it. Not really what I'm trying to do either. We got some related movie suggestions, split screen effects, yada, 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 yada. But it doesn't look like there's anything in here that will help me do what I want to do. So then I started doing some Googling. And I ended up finding a thread that led me to this result. Let me fix the split off of the clip. And I'm going to remove the timecode feature. Now what I want to do is add a tiles and text to the video that has no text in it at all. It's completely blank. And I'm going to stretch it all the way across to where it matches the size of the clip. And I'm going to add the time code feature to this tiles and text. So I click the event FX button, select the time code feature, and then say OK. And now we're back to having a time code, what appears to be on the video, but it's actually on this tiles and text. See, it is still the same length. What the thread suggested that I do was remove the clip from the storyboard and then render a video with just the tiles and text with the timecode feature added onto it. Now, I'm not going to let you sit here and watch the rendering process because that does take a while. So fortunately, I already have that done. So let's add that video to the storyboard. There is no audio in this video, so I'm just going to remove that. So now we're left with just a video of the timecode feature. Now we're going to add our clip back to the storyboard, but notice we can't see it. The timecode video that has a black background is sitting on top of the actual clip that we want to see. So we have to add one more effect. On the timecode clip, click the event FX button, select Vegas Chroma Keyer. Notice here the color which is selected to be blue. Watch what happens when I start changing it to black and the video starts to come through. And there we have it. 
now we can see our video along with the timecode feature added onto it. So now let's start creating our splits. Let's go find a section where I'm done doing push-ups. So about right here, we're going to create a split. And then let's go find when we're about to do another series of push-ups. So right here, create a split. And let's make sure that the actual clip itself has splits also. So both the time code clip and the actual video clip have the splits in them. And so what we're going to do now is time stretch them. To, whoops, not that way. We're going to time stretch them to where they're going to play much faster. And so what used to be a 6 minute and 42 second clip now is about 5 minutes and 44 seconds. But when I go look at the end of the clip, notice that the time code still maintains itself to be 6 minutes and 42 seconds. And we can watch and see here how fast the time code moves at normal pace versus how fast the time code moves when it's running at four times the amount. And so what would normally be a minute rest period only actually takes about 15 seconds of actual real time. But again, the time code maintains itself. And then once we reach the normal clip, it'll play at its normal pace. So there you have it, everybody. This is how you would want to use the time code feature across multiple splits and have the time code actually maintain itself without resetting back to zero every time that you actually create a split. I hope you found this video helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe. Take care, everybody.